What's up, guys? Swirlux, we're back here, and today, as you can see, I guess this is getting recorded actually the day before this goes up, but the mini set is out. So let's go, um, let's go pick that up real quick. And uh, once the purchase has been done, I will see you guys there. All right. Um, mini set now has now been acquired. So wait. I guess it, yeah, 33 times two is, okay. Um, okay, we're gonna, let's go, let's actually go collect all the achievements that we're getting. Um, uh, <laughs> all right, anyways, with that being said, um, what did I want to say? Um, why aren't you collecting that one? Okay, well, apparently, I don't doesn't want to allow me to collect that one. Collect twenty five skeletons or academy legendaries. Oh shit! It's kind of dope. Okay, so they added new rewards for collecting all the older cards. That's kind of dope too. Okay, it doesn't want to let me collect that. What about like the older older sets? Here you get the diamond rag, right? Is it here? You got diamond Ragnaros. You don't have any for that. Do you have anything for this? Uh, no, it doesn't look like they put one for some of the older, older sets. Okay. <laughs> I don't have 50 grand tournament cards, lol. That set was actually trash. I'm really missing that many from this. Oh, I think I'm missing all the... Uh, um, legend. I'm missing so many of the legendaries. But anyways, it's cool. At least we got a golden Jandis. I don't think that's a card I actually had. Um, but anyways, there was another one here, I believe. Uh, yeah, in game modes. Is that for mercenaries? That is a very weird lighting effect. Or no, it was actually for battlegrounds. Interesting. Okay, I'm. Don't fucking fuck you too. What can I? Why can't I collect this? Give me my achievement. Give me my one hundred percent. Okay, whatever. Enough wasting time there. Um. So today, actually, we're not gonna be playing any of the new cards because I'm way too tired to think of building a new deck. And I kind of wanted to play Ignite Mage. So we're gonna play Ignite Mage. Uh. Let me actually quickly see new cards. Trust spell, gain health equal to its armor, deal 8 damage to an enemy, summon a minion, summon a remnant with stats equal to the excess damage, and then pre last spell, you cast, it costs, yeah, so these are kind of trash, not gonna lie. Also, this card is getting super hyped. This card is just bad Leroy, in my opinion, but whatever. Uh, real quick, yeah, this card is bad Leroy. I'm gonna be talking a lot more about the set, though. Or come the next six well come friday so i'm gonna be streaming and i'm gonna go over the entire mini set on friday so yeah in my opinion this card is worse leroy and i'll explain why then if you guys actually want to know comment down below but um yeah i think this card is bad leroy anyways with that being said um yeah i guess let's just kill the first game and see how things go all right guys i'll see y'all there All right, um, with the new mini set being out, I have no idea what the fuck people are gonna be on. I'm gonna keep this, because I think that's good. I'm gonna keep that. Um, I guess this is fine. It gives me a free ice block. I don't know if this is better than, um, what's his face, though? If this is better than, oh, it's overload. Interesting. No, but I was gonna say, I don't know if this is better than, uh, why can't I think of his name, for fuck's sake? Mad Scientist. There we go. Oh, there's this guy golden. The more you know. <laughs> uh, this gets really solid. Let's do that. Right now, we're, we're, we're actually kind of in a... Combo card waiting room, right? We're playing all... Yeah, all the spells in this deck are fire, right? This is fire. This is fire. I just noticed that this deck only runs one copy of Ignite. I feel like that could possibly be wrong. I'm gonna wait on playing this. 
because I don't have to play it right away, so I don't. I'm not going to play it right away. Um. That's problematic. This card's really good for him. Uh, there's no realistic. Ooh, that's actually an insane draw. Uh, so we just slam this here, and we're kind of okay because we have double ice block in hand. I guess uh, this might actually be better because it gives it to you right away, even though it costs one more mana. I don't know, in a deck like this, I guess the one mana is not as important as in other decks. But, um, yeah. So, we have four good draws in our deck, right? We have one copy, or we have two copies Sandbinder, two copies Sanctum Chandler. We win with either or, right? There's one dead draw in our entire deck. And we have, like, actually infinite mana to play shit next turn. We're chilling. Because we can cycle through, uh, no, we need a second one of these or to hit Molten. We, again, we have so much mana. We should theoretically be fine, I think. I don't want to play these. Do I just give him the value? Because I don't want to actually be forced to play my shit. At least I can play one here. I guess this is fine. It is not the end of the world, but... I would really, really like. Also, I mean, this draws me second sorcerers, but it's really the the sanctum because I can theoretically play this, right? I have one, two, three, four, five, eleven mana. I could one hundred percent cast it. I need to chill out. I need to draw Chandler, and I win the game. Also with this, I'm able to cast this for one. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. So with Sand Binary, I'm able to actually cast my entire deck, basically. Except for, I get block. No, I don't even get block and ice block is the big thing. That's the second fish. I've played a lot of that deck. The amount of time I've drawn, or sorry, not fish, but frog. The amount of times I've drawn two frogs, I can count on one hand. It's actually insane. This guy is... Insanely lucky. Okay, so he's overloaded for one, two, three, four next turn. I believe I have lethal here. Oh my god. The problem with this is the animation is actually so slow. You get cocked by animations, lol. This is the problem with only having one, I think. Is that when you cast it two more times in 16 seconds, the animation is actually taken for fucking ever. Oh no, I don't have enough time, I don't think. Never mind, I do. Easy clap. Oh my god, it's so much more stressful. You don't know if you have the time. Why is this animation so slow, man? I guess that's the challenging part of this deck is how fast the animations play out, which, I mean, feels like an artificial difficulty spike, but whatever. Anyways, with that being said, let's uh, keep the next one. All right, a warlock. Game, why do you give me hands like this? The answer is I mull everything, I'm pretty sure. But I want to greet it. It's a warlock. It's a warlock. What's, what's the worst that can happen besides the fact I die on turn 8? Or turn 5? We are 6? Yeah, we die on turn 6. So we just need to draw 3 pieces of ramp and a fire spell by turn 6. So 1 biscuit, 
And then evocation. There's the biscuit. No, we just need evocation. Was it else it's I'm able to go off on seven? Actually, I mean two biscuits is also fine. Is it's a turn five then? We also need to draw a um fire spell. Actually, also we have to draw molten reflection or ice blocks or multiple fire spells or first flames. Yeah. But I mean at the same time, block is fairly nice. So this draws this actually draws one either this which draws a spell. This which cycles. This which gives us ice block or this which cycles. That is a graphical bug. You can, yeah, okay, you guys can see that. Look at the tradable sign on this minion. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like that. Are all of them oh my god, all the tradable cards are like that. Wizard, fix your damn shit. How could this game be this broken? That's a that's a pretty solid draw. One last spell to get stuck on. It's a sound zone. Oh no, it's uh, Reno Lock. Okay, we're chilling then. Hot Sheik is pretty solid as well. So this is means that Molten Reflection is no longer card we get stuck on. We only get stuck now on Ice Block. We still need to realistically hit Evocation. If we hit Evocation here, no, I can't go off as this blocks me. Unless I hit exactly first volume. But if the first spell I hit is Ice Block, I lose the game. Here it's gonna be resolved this. What the hell did I play on my turn? Oh, I hero powered? Why the fuck did I play this? Oh, that was a low roll. Actually, I kind of want the Zephyrus to try and blow up my secret because this way this gets out the last one and I no longer get stuck. But hey, theoretically we're two turns away. Easy clap. He's Reno Lock, so he doesn't have another rat. I'm not about to kill his rat. I'm okay with taking the damage. I need to actually take the damage to get another block, right? Um, okay, never mind. I'm chilling. I'm actually chilling now. If I go off next turn. He can't play Mutinous yet, and most lists don't run Dark Project. Unless he's running my list, he could 100% be running my list. In which case, Project is an actual card they play. Or I play. Project, or do you lose? Okay, he loses again. Perfect. I sh Oh. I forgot I had another biscuit in my deck. Why did I play the evocation first? Uh, I threw. I actually fucking threw here. Whoops. I fucked up. I shouldn't play the evocation. I completely blanked on the fact that I had another biscuit in my deck. I completely forgot that was a card. Even though I had played one. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Oh, this deck has so many small nuances. I shouldn't have played it, though. The evocation, if I would have waited, I would off there 100%. All right. Yeah, I would not have had to play... What's it called? Yeah, no, it was better. I fucked up. That, that one's on me. Anyways, whatever. Let's uh, queue up the next one. All right, is this the same guy? He's using the same skin. No, okay. Okay, this hand is actually pretty solid. This gets out an ice block. This draws me the second apprentice. Just draws me Sanctum Handler. And yeah, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's hope this goes according to plan. Okay. Okay, let's not fuck it up this time. It's also not even lock, which means he's on Reno. This gets really solid because it's, again, one less card now to get stuck on. Okay, there we go. Now it's almost impossible. To get, it's actually impossible for me to get stuck now, right? 
is I have only this left that doesn't cycle as well. Everything else cycles. Which woodpiper. Interesting. I want to keep extra minions in my hand, so I'm going to keep this and this in my hand. Well, I'm going to slam this next turn, but I should have actually slammed this first. If I get ratty, of course he has it. So we can get around without this, is the thing. It's harder, but we can do it. I don't want that dead, right? You know, we don't want to kill this off because then he can get it with Ray's dead, which doesn't sound like a good time. We do this next turn. It's really oh, actually. I mean, we do this this next turn. Losing out on first flame is kind of shit, but what can you do? Mana biscuit, mana biscuit. Molten Reflection says I win the game, right? They can no longer get... Bro, he actually just had everything this game. I mean, okay. Sure. Sure thing there, bud. If I drew half as well as he did, I had won this game on turn 5. Just pointing that out. <laughs> like, for fuck's sake. Bran ran on 5 into Mutinous on 7. Okay. I can't win with this deck. Why does- Why have I queued into two Reno Locks? They're the first two Reno Locks I've seen. In... Two months? Three months? Queued into both of them playing a combo deck. Alright. Seems fair and balanced. Whatever. Next one. Alright, a matchup where we can actually fucking win because he doesn't play interaction. Let's go! Easy game. Okay, I keep this whole hand. This hand is actually solid. I mean, the blocks are less good against hunters. Um, I was actually hoping to hit a lot of Pirate Warrior. Because everybody has been like, at least of what I've read on Reddit, there's a lot of people like saying that Mr. Smite is like actually broken. I mean, he might be, but in my head, he's bad. I, I kind of want to say why I think he's bad. So I feel like people are going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with this kid? Why is this kid like actually dumb as fuck? But, okay, I actually I'll say I'll say why I think Mr. Smite is bad. This might get me hate or whatever, but I don't care. Reason I think Mr. Smite is bad is he's just too fucking slow. You're giving all your pirates on turn six charge is insane, right? The ability is insane. Problem is that when you're playing Pirate Warrior, they're kind of dead on turn seven anyways. And hear me out. It's if you play Ankar on three and you draw Mr. Smite on four with your second attack or on three with your first attack, you're fucking depressed, right? I can't be the only one that sees it that way. Where I don't ever want to see that card until turn six. And where Leroy costs one less mana as well. Sure, he doesn't advance your quest, but typically you've completed quests already by the time you're worrying about playing Leroy to kill your opponent, or Mr. Smite would be to, like, your finisher, right? But Rakar is enough value already to go long, and you just don't need it, right? It's just a 6-5 six, for 6, when you could be playing a 6-2 that has the same ability, basically, which is kill your opponent for 5. So to me, it just doesn't make sense of why you'd want to play that. The same problem I had with, um... What's his face? The, um... 7 drop that costs 1 less for every prior control. If you see it early, it's a dead fucking card. 6 mana to advance your quest with 1 step is way too much mana. Same way how 4 mana or 5 mana on the other guy is too much mana to advance your quest 1 step, in my opinion. I would have killed 2-4 personally, but okay. So, like, yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, that, again, might just be me and my way of seeing um, how that card works, but I don't know, it just seems bad. And I think that I would rather just play Leroy still. Or Lotheb, if you're looking for a control card or a control slot or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Honestly, I'd rather just be playing Leroy. Um, but hey, I might be wrong. I might be seeing things very narrowly. 
So there's definitely a possibility. But, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think the card's that insane. And to be fair, the combo I saw with him looked insane with, um... What's her face? Uh, the pirate girl for rogues? Uh, Hook Tusk? That seemed really sick, where someone, like, summoned, like, a whole bunch of pirates out of their deck. And just killed their opponent. It was, like, really, really sick. If I draw the Sorcerer's Apprentice here, I won the game. One time. One time Sorcerer's Apprentice or Molten Reflection. I'll take either or. I win the game. I guess I'm just going for it. The reason I'm going for it is because I have enough mana to play everything, basically. I don't think there's a single card that I get stuck on. Now I just need to hope I have enough time to play out all my animations. I don't think I do. Six, seven, eight. No, I need to cast three more times in 19 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I hate how long these animations are. I actually just can't go faster. Six, five, four, three, two, get out. Raced, kid, get out of my game. Uh, that's that's the way you do it. <laughs> uh, realizing that I just had to go for it there because I'm pretty sure he was holding a flare. So again, again, that's actually a, a small point I kind of would like to say. If you're playing the deck he's playing, hold up flare. Don't play it right away as soon as you see them play a secret because it would have given me time to develop my other one and you would have had to draw it. If you would have waited the turn, he's gonna kill me to slam the flare. He wins the game. If not, he can possibly lose it because I'm still gonna proc the block eventually. Um, anyways, we have time for one more game, so let's, uh, queue it up. There we go. There's a Pirate Warrior. If I'm not mistaken, we're favored in this matchup. First one is such a good card. Um, I'll keep this whole hand. But yeah, I hope that my very, very brief explanation on Mr. Smite, uh, was good enough so you guys can actually understand my point of view on that card. The card is good, but I think it's better in, uh... Actually, I think it's better in, um, what's it called? In the odd? Oh, no, you can't even play it in the odd, huh? As I say, it's better in the odd one, but sadly it's unplayable. Um, what else was I gonna say? I mean, yeah. The card that was insane when you summon it off, um, the Juggernaut, right? If you hit it off the Juggernaut, it's like, I think it's the best, it's the best fire to hit off Juggernaut, 100%. Um, except for occasionally it's the 2-5 or the 4-6. Depending what you need in a specific situation. But I would say most of the time, it is the best card to hit. Off. Juggernaut. Does that mean? It gives the ones in your hand as well, right? So, uh, I have to kill that. This is so much damage if I don't kill it, right? I need a way to turn on developing ice block. Which really sucks. The longer I went on developing Ice Block, the worse situation I'm in. Right, the reason it's worse to develop it now, I can't play this. But also, on top of that, developing the- I, I actually have to develop on 5? Oh my god, that's so bad. I've gone 10 games in a row without seeing this. And he's- can draw me a cycle guy. I wish these were just discard to draw a card. One discard draw a card would be so much better. I mean, these these cards would actually be broken if they were just one discard draw a card. It's like, I don't ever want to see this card ever, right? Where I want, like, exactly. If I could just discard this to draw, it'd be insane. Okay, well, I at least I have block block. I'm not dead here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Nah, I'm fine. I have block block. Are you 
someone give me Chandler for once, please, game? I have, like, the perfect hand for it. And all I need to do is see it. That's all I need. My hand is actually broken. Like, it's not funny how good my hand is. It should not legally be allowed to be this good. Uh, that was the wrong hit. Ah, yes. Uh, Recur is fine. I'm not worried about it. I have two turns to draw Chandler. And here I could also draw Sandbinder. I just can't draw Sandbinder the turn after next. I draw it here, or I have to draw... Nope. Nope. I guess I lose the game. There's two draws in my deck to get me there. With this hand, even, I don't get stuck by biscuits, which is really, really nice. It's nine. Nine, I only have eight mana. Hmm. Well, it's either draw Sanctum Chandler or I lose the game. It's going to be lose the game, isn't it? There's a good theoretically draw a cycle into it, but it's two and eight, so one and nine. Okay, Dream is still alive. Dream is still alive. Are you kidding? Oh, wait. No, Dream is no, no longer alive. I'm missing two mana. If I was able to play this, I was fine. I'm so sad. I'm actually one mana off. I'm, I'm two mana. Ugh, I'm so sad. I was two mana off being able to kill him. Or one mana off being able to kill him. If I would have... Man, I had to draw snake into snake and not snake into sandbinder. Or... Sanctum Chandler. That's so sad. Also, I mean, the, the Witchwood Piper was depressing. Also, these cards have never come up once. That's... Oh, uh, I don't know. This deck tilts me, man. <laughs> it never goes my way. It, it... I don't know. The deck feels worse than... Um... It might just be me, but the deck feels worse than the old one with, uh... With a draw card... Um, draw two refresh mana crystals because I would I would have potentially gone off I would have actually just gone off there with that if I would have had that I don't, I don't like this version with all the tradable minions I'd rather just play actual cycle I think it's slightly better that's depressing pack <laughs> uh, man I don't know oh, I'm so sad we lost that game we lost to... That Pirate Warrior, I think we should have won. We just got very, very unlucky. But anyways, yeah. I think... Have I talked about... This card looks terrible. Honestly. This card looks like shit. I like... I like some of the diamond cards. This one just looks really fucking bad. I... Her torso is... Way too fucking long. Be for that background is fucking clean. But she, I don't know. She's weirdly tall. And it looks very freakish. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, rep the gang. Don't forget to leave. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Twitch is where I go live. Twitter is where you know when I go live. Um, yeah. There's not much else to say. Besides, uh, I guess I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, guys. Peace.